Hey everyone, this is Justin, that's Eli, Eli, and this is Daily Bugle Podcast. Today we'll be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. We did a lot of Spider-Man lately, so uh, yeah, I guess we have a lot to uh, compare to, I assume. But as always, we're going to... I'm going Spider-Man crazy. <laughs> but as always, we're going to... Uh, not as always, but as of lately, we are going to start off with some... Little news I, I see, you know, when I'm scrolling in my phone through Instagram. That's definitely like a comic book or nerd related. So you, do you want me to take it uh, take it away, buddy? Yes, sir. Also, first time chat from viewer. Oh, awesome. Hello, Cramp. Hola. Como esta, amigo? What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining. Appreciate you. All right. So I also did this this time. So like instead of just, you know, saying with the news and just leaving it like flat like that, I thought we could – I'll say uh, – I'll, I'll tell you the news and tell me if you like approve, and I'll have a question with it. Hello, T Cows. What's cool. up? Thank you. Alrighty. And I think we actually. Did, so the first piece of news I got for you, and I think we actually did. Uh, I think we did talk about this one. Is that the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie, the sequel, got the green light? Do you approve of this, or are you good with that? Absolutely not. That movie was horrible. <laughs> like, dude. That movie is so shit. I'm mad I went to the movie theater for that. I should have just watched it on HBO Max. So I was like, nah, it's going to be a decent movie. Yeah. Fuck. I went I went to the theater oh. and everything, bro. And I, I hyped it up in my head, bro. I was like, this would be awesome. Some nostalgic shit. Don't get me wrong. They did some cool, like, fatality kind of, like, nostalgic things. But overall. Yeah, like that was... one scene. But damn, I, I just want to do an impromptu Mortal Kombat review right now. Because that movie <laughs> just pissed me off thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't approve, but I'm obviously, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. Like, I can't not watch it, but I won't go to the theater. I learned my lesson from the first one. Okay, so question on this then. Um, As of right now, if you had to compare, which do you like better, the one they came out with, uh, 2021 or the old 90s one? Which one do you like more? Because that was also fucking pretty rough, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's definitely the 2021 one. That one's way better. Okay, okay, okay. Next as week. bad as it was, but the first one was horrible. Hey, man. I watched that a million times before I watched fucking Dragon Ball Z again. So that that's a whole... If we ever want to get... I like, just, if dude, ever, I just pretend like that and The Last Airbender never happened. Those movies were never created. I'm if, still waiting. If we ever want to have like a Rage podcast, we'll do those back-to-back. -back. Like, we do a two-hour special. A, a, a three-hour special that us just shitting so bad on those two movies. I'd, that I, might destroy me. I, I, I might have to retire from podcasting <laughs> after that. That's how much I fucking hate those two movies. Short-lived, but, you know, yeah, I agree with you, man. Um, it has to be done. It's what the people want. <laughs> the next piece of news is, uh, who's who's the director of that new Batman movie? I forgot. I feel like it's a pretty big guy. I feel like Matt Reeves. I think that's his name. It is Matt Reeves. Yes, it is. I don't know what he's done. So Matt Reeves has said, I don't know if you've seen this, but he said what he thinks the Batman is like. He said it's 70s cinema. 80s comic in Nirvana, 90s Nirvana. Um, oh, sorry. To, I'm, I'm with it. I go ahead, man. I yeah. I, everything that that I've seen from this movie, like I'm I'm trying to like like I've, I've been trying to like limit like what I watch for the, from the Batman stuff because it just looks like it's gonna be so dope. But from what I see, I think it's gonna be like one of the best Batman. I have a lot of faith in this movie. They actually dropped a pretty good. Um... That, they actually dropped another new uh, preview before I was watching it. But also, oh, yeah. Sanderlin33 said, Dragon Ball Z needs a big budget to work. Yes, it really does. Um, Agreed. I, was there someone talking about making uh, another movie like that? Like, or was that just rumors? I'm pretty sure it was. Any it might have just been rumors. Yeah. And yet, yeah, I, uh, but it definitely does need a big budget. But I feel like I feel like it would be hard to do as a movie because there's just so much that happens maybe as like a... Maybe as like a series, maybe, maybe like yeah. I obviously, you can like definitely, you can definitely like shorten the story because a lot of those episodes are filler. But you could like, I think they could do it as a as a show. I think it would be awesome, especially because yeah. like you've seen like how they did like the because they could do like the Super Saiyan. I could see it being done after seeing Captain Marvel. You know, like you know how like she glowed and all that stuff. Yeah, they, I feel like they, it would like I that I could. When I saw that, I had faith that they could do a, a Dragon Ball Z movie and like do like the Super Saiyan transformations, like Justice, you know? Yeah, that's true. I I, I personally, I fucking, I love Dragon Ball Z, man. I grew up with that stuff. I would love to see a really one d done well. But I also would like to see the Airbender too, but that one, 
that's a whole different story, man. That one was real messed up. Well, they are making, they're working on the Netflix show, and uh, oh, the, I, I don't feel, know much about it. They'll do good they, about it. Uh, the actors that they have playing the main characters, they they look really good, you know. Yeah. Like you can't even compare to the the last Airbender movie. It's it actually looks like them. Like Ang looks good. It just I I wonder. Like it'll it'll be the kid's young, so like he'll age a lot throughout the show. That's the only thing that kind of that would be kind of hard to do about that. But yeah, but you remember the old the old movie they had too? It was kind of offensive. I feel like it was like the Firebenders were. Uh, People from Arabic or the Middle East, I'm like, because they blow shit up, and I'm like, that's great. Right. I'm like, that's kind of offensive, no? But <laughs> hey, man. Uh, Yo, but like, what was that? And then they had those the fucking the the step team freaking Earthbenders in there. It, they had to like they had that whole squad to just stomp so they could like throw one rock in slow motion. <laughs> oh, we have to do that podcast, and I want to just uh, I just want to shit on that movie. Just, where do we even watch that movie? Fun. Where did where do we watch that? I feel like the last time we see that really movie. Small. I remember my dad. My my dad dropped us off to go see that movie. I feel like I feel like it'll be at like uh, but like where could we watch that movie? I I bet I bet oh. it's on like Vudu and it's like still seven dollars. Like that's some bullshit. I'm not trying to pay seven dollars for that. Sh- it might be on. I think it might be on Netflix, and mm-hmm. if not, probably Paramount Plus. True. Yeah. Okay. I do have Paramount Plus, so I could probably watch it. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough watch. I've never watched the whole. I've watched scenes from that movie on YouTube, and. Yeah, it, it's even worse than I remembered. Mm-hmm. I remember trying to defend that movie too when it first happened. I was like, "Yeah, you know, it was kind of cool. It's hard to do an Avatar movie." Yeah, and then like now as days went by, I just got furious, and I was like, "What was this?" Now there's no excuses, honestly, in my opinion. But, but uh, next piece of news, man. It's in an interview, uh, Tobey Maguire teases his appearance again and says he doesn't close the chapter on his Spider Man. The question I think is, do you believe he actually returns? And if so, what movie do you think he'll return? This is Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. Yeah, I could definitely see him returning. I feel like they won't, him and Andrew, they're not just going to bring them into the MCU for one movie. They're so, like, at this point now, they established the multiverse. Yeah. There's so much they could do with all these characters. And, like, he's rumored to be in a multiverse of madness. I don't know how, how true it is because it just sounds like there's a whole lot going on in that movie. Yeah, that's true. But then again, I said the same thing when uh, the the No Way Home uh, rumors and stuff started coming out. I was like, I remember saying, I'm like, there's no way they're gonna bring back these Spider Man, Toby and, and Andrew. Yeah. And you know, Marvel, they always they they always want to do stuff bigger than uh, the other people, so they'll probably try to top uh, Sony and stuff. But mm-hmm. so I I think he do come out in Doctor Strange because I feel like he's not going to do it forever. But I feel like he would. I feel like he would be contracted if he goes to do a movie with Disney. He would have to do one at least for Sony because that's what Sony would want. So I think he'll be in t- if he does one for, for sure. Disney. I think he'll be in another one with Spider Man. True. But uh, isn't he rumored to be in a? Was it you who told me who like maybe he was rumored to be in Secret Wars? Is that what yes. It was? Yeah. Secret yeah. Wars. Yep. So he might be in that. Honestly. Yeah. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty cool. That's pretty fucking cool, dude. See him on a, like a more smaller scale, like a show. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, the this is the another this is a piece of moves that's kind of also Spider Man related. It says uh, Spider Man No Way Home comps con- concept art. It was and it was of Doctor Strange fighting uh, Mysterio. And then uh, to uh, caveat with that, uh, No Way Home Blu Ray is to contain a hundred minutes of bonus content. So. Nice. Do you think that's a good? The question would be: Do you think it's a good or bad cut that they cut out Doctor Strange versus Mysterio? I'm trying to think. I guess it would be. It would be I don't know because it would have been like hard to. I just like what? What can Mysterio do against Doctor Strange? You know, it would have been like kind of like a pointless battle. You know. Yeah, but it's gonna be like magic, kind of versus magic. But he was kind of like fake magic, I guess. He was kind of like yeah. It was like none of it was real. You know, if he like, I don't know. But how how would they have? put uh, Mysterio in it, just bringing him from another universe or something? I, I guess so, because uh, the the concept about it was them two fighting, and it, they were just above the Statue of Liberty's head. I mean, it would look really cool visually, but yeah. it just wouldn't make sense, because Doctor Strange would just fucking murder him. Also, I really wish they didn't kill him off in Far From Home. That, well, that's the whole thing that Marvel does. It always kills off good villains and shit. And they, yeah, like, it's like, we have so many villains, we can't have too many, bro. Like, Just keep them alive. Let them, you know... Maybe come like yeah, they go to prison or something, break out of prison, like you know, just slaughter you know, everyone. I don't, I don't know why they want to. Keep... Doesn't make sense. 
but also a little piece I said was uh, um, 100 minutes of bonus content on Blu-ray. First off, do you even still have a Blu-ray? Do, but I don't buy Blu-rays because yeah, I have because I have my PlayStation. So are they just gonna have it on Blu-ray? Is it gonna be like other ways you can get it? Like they want you to buy these fucking DVDs? Because I'm not buying the DVD. Right. There's no fun. Right. I feel like you could. I feel like it. Ugh, you could probably find that content online. It's probably not worth it. That's true. That's true. Cause I think you could probably get it on um, if you buy it on Amazon, like yeah. on Prime, whatever. Because I think you can get it like. Like I was looking up on, on on Amazon, they have Spider Man Homecoming like plus bonus content, so it would probably be the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Could be that. Hope so, because I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't want to buy a Blu Ray just for that. Yeah, I'm not trying to buy Blu Ray. I'm trying to get rid of all my Blu Rays. Honestly, to take up too much space because I had to start selling them. Dude, I never started buying Blu Rays. I have my DVDs still. Remember my fucking big ass DVD collection? Yeah, I, I that's why I sold too. I sold a bunch of my stuff. Alrighty, so. I'm going to just keep rolling with the Spider-Man news and we'll transition from there. Uh, it says, Tom Holland is unsure of his return. He wants to give a chance to the next young kid to play Spider-Man. Do you think we should have more Tom Holland or do you think this is good for him to stop? That was the question. I, I definitely want more. I, I just like Spider-Man. I like Tom Holland. I do want more, but like it, it's funny because they, they keep on saying, it's like confirmed that there's going to be another trilogy, but the whole time he's saying he doesn't want to do movies anymore. I'm just like, so like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, shut up. Okay, we, we hear what you say, but you're going to do it. The reason why I would want it is because he'll be able to do what uh, Toby and um, Andrew didn't do. Like, they were able, he's, they're going to show him literally grow. Like, if we keep switching, yeah, and, we, if we keep it switching off Spider Man, it's going to keep being a fucking, you know, origin arc. Origin arc. It's them becoming a man. And I'm getting, like, sick of that shit. I want to see, like, okay, this has been Spider Man. Maybe I'm just being, like, selfish, but, like, I want to be, like, kind of like the comics where it's, like, Spider-Man, it's like so many series of a comic where he's like he's been Spider-Man forever, but there's new stories, and it's like it's like yeah. battling new problems, maybe adult problems when he becomes a fucking adult and shit. But everyone just wants to stop, I guess. I don't know. No, I agree because uh, we finally he's finally standing at the end of No Way Home. He's finally on his own, doing his like like OG Spider-Man is supposed to be. Yeah. For them to just end it right there when he's finally got to like the point that everybody's wanting him to get to. Yeah. Yeah, and he, dude, he does so good. Like rewatching Homecoming made me freaking uh, appreciate Tom Holland more as Spider Man. You know? No, I agree, and I, that's why I'm like, I just like don't leave yet, man. Like, maybe it's just me being selfish. There's, there's so much that 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 he. Oh, I guess we'll talk about that when we start the review. But yeah, there's so much he did. Like that movie did right, and he did well in that movie. Yeah, I agree. I would definitely get into that. Uh, I didn't write this on my notes, but I saw this earlier. It was saying that um. There, they, they, there's like a rumor or speculation that uh, Doctor Strange spell wasn't like 100% uh, 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 perfect, I guess. And it says like, mm -hmm. if you see like the, they showed a picture of like the actual screenwriting for the, the, the movie. And it says like, how it was written, it kind of seems like uh, Zadaya at the end, like she, she looks at him a certain way and she kind of like has like, like, this feels like deja vu kind of thing. And it's trying to make it seem like mm -hmm. she, she might like eventually re like realize like, they know each other from somewhere. I don't know. I don't know how. I you... hope so. Yeah, that's why I hope to. I hope you like get your friends back, bro. Like you used to be like young Spider Man, whatever, bro. bro. That'd be cool. All right, still Come on, on man. Spider Man needs love. <laughs> exactly. Uh, still on Spider Man. Sony, of course, wants to do another Toby, Andrew, and Tom movie all together. Do you believe that's likely or unlikely? I think it. I'm not fifty fifty. It could happen, but I don't think Sony if Sony does it on their own, I don't think they'll do it. Right. No, they won't. I feel like Sony just can't do anything right. They just need let, let Kevin Feige handle all that. Let Marvel handle it. I agree. I definitely agree. Because if if they if they take complete control and start doing their own thing with Tom Holland, I think they're gonna ruin him. They're gonna ruin the movies just like it'll end up being like another Andrew Garfield thing, you know, where um like he does great in that acting, but the, like the, the story and the script is just like terrible, you know. Yeah, I think honestly, I don't think can't. I don't think they can do uh, a Spider-Man movie of just Tom Holland because I think that's it's also Disney's product, so I don't think they're allowed to do that. Because I think if they could have, they would have been doing movies, right? I feel like they could. They mm, I don't know. I think the contract is up. I think I think oh. that's the last one was was when the contract was like done. 
Damn. I think he was only but but I read that for a certain amount of time. But I read that uh not, how they're doing contracts now is by movie by movie. They don't want to like especially Disney's like all these because a lot of these actors just want to get out of the role and like uh so like I guess like filming with them it gets gets a pain in the ass when they're like oh yeah I'm gr-, they're like they're excited to do a four movie deal but when it comes to the fourth movie they're like not really into it they just want to be done with it and I guess Marvel's like you know mm-hmm. what you for now on everyone's doing movie by movie like if you don't want to be in it anymore we're just gonna figure out something else to replace you pretty much. And I was like, oh, I'm not against it, but it also, but also makes everything more, like, volatile and not, you know, consistent. Yeah, right? Because I want to see, like, I want, like, a whole plan, like, the, like the original smooth, you know, like, the phase one and all that. Exactly. Which is going to be really tricky to see how these, they're going to work the phases now if it's so, like, wishy-washy in a sense. But it will be interesting, honestly. Um, next piece of news. It says that, I don't know who broke this news, but it says, Peacemaker, the show, is more in demand than Boba Fett. Are you surprised? Absolutely not. I haven't even watched the last two episodes of Boba Fett. I'm just going to probably uh, breeze through it when it when it comes time for us to podcast about it, because I'm not really enjoying that show. I watched only episode two. I'm up to, <laughs> I watched episode two yesterday. So I still got to work through like five more episodes, I feel like. So it's, yeah, it's I think great. it's on. You probably have, maybe have, yeah, I think you have like four more episodes because I think six episodes are out now, maybe. Oh, there's, um, only, there's only seven episodes, I believe. But actually, yeah, actually, it's six episodes now, but there's only one more left. And um, that's why we're going to do that. We're going to do Suicide Squad comparison, the, the two, and then we're going to do Boba Fett right after. So we got we got some work to do on that. And then, Exciting. Then we got some Peacemaker. Yes. I haven't watched the latest episode of Peacemaker. I'm trying to, I want to get at least two episodes, like, built up just so I can, like, because I always want to, when the episode ends, I'm just like, damn, I'm just like, I want to, I want to see more. Yeah, I watched it. It's, it's pretty damn good, but, okay. Yeah. This is not really comic news, but it aggravates me, so I want to say it. Uh, Jason Moa in talks to join Fast 10. You riding with the family? <laughs> like, you fucking might as well at this point. Like, he should, pro- <laughs> he should, he should. And he shouldn't even be a new character. He should just show up as fucking Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, he's like, 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 like <laughs> he's like, yeah. at, at this point, that, everything makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> he's like, you're just, you know, pop out the fucking ocean. <laughs> like, Dom goes over into the water. You see him bring his car out with like a whale or something. <laughs> he does his little fucking little head turn. Like, you remember that from the Aquaman movie when he when he jumped on the submarine and he was like, permission to come aboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was about to say that. And then Dom's gonna be like, to him and his fish family, we're family. And that's gonna be fucking, that's gonna be great, bro. Fuck Fast and Furious. That's a whole other thing. If you want me to do a movie summary of Fast and Furious, I'm not even gonna watch all of them. I'm just gonna say it sucks, and that's it. That's two minutes. I just, it was, it was good after, once they started abbreviating their name, I, that's when it started going downhill. Like, Tokyo Drift was shit, but he was like, Fast and Furious, Fast Five, the fucking Furious 6 0, whatever the fuck it is, F7. Hey. So much. Oh, God. Like the what is it? Fat, Fast Five is probably <clears throat> out of all the the bullshit new ones. That was probably the best one. Yeah, it was cool. They brought everybody back, and they didn't need they didn't need to do anything after that. It could have just been done. Yeah, and then you know once uh, our boy fucking died, you know what happened? Fucking just like you know what? Pedal to metal. We need eighteen more. They ain't ever stopping. Right. This is for Paul. They. Yeah, like, they tried to replace him with fucking who was like Clint Eastwood's son, and that that failed. I was just like, oh yeah, hired out of here. <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty, back to the comic book shit. James Gunn is confirming that Guardian of the Galaxy three is the end of the team, and he has a second Suicide Squad spinoff show already in development. What do you think is next for these characters in James Gunn's Guardian of the Galaxy? And do you think Gunn is now full DC than Marvel because he probably gets more freedom and able to swear and stuff like that? I think he definitely is going to do more with DC. Um, I feel like he, he probably would have done, I think he would have done more um, <clears throat> with with Marvel if he wasn't fired that first time. I think he wants to see, probably see his story being completed. That's just my, my guess. Oh, I but forgot he, he got fired, but like yeah. To, mm-hmm. Yeah, he probably wants to see that through and give like a proper ending to the people that, you know, he worked hard on, but. But do you I think, know, like, do I, you think, think those characters will return in Marvel? I think maybe. I think maybe a few. I think I heard that. I think Drax is going to die. I think yeah, David Batista said he's done. Yeah, they, I think I, he's going to die. I think Mantis will die. Um, yeah. I hope Rocket. I like Rocket. I hope Rocket um, and Groot, like, they survive, but they, like, do their own thing. 
Yeah. You can literally make a Netflix show of just them and people would watch it. Like you don't you just yeah, need up. you just need them to like do like the little background or story. And I don't know where Star Lord goes. Maybe he'll join fucking Thor. Yeah, I could yeah, I could see Star Lord staying, but I feel like Gamora is not gonna stay Mantis Drax. Um yeah, that, uh, yeah, the chick who does Gamora, she probably hates putting on all that fucking makeup, bro. Imagine doing that shit in three movies, bro. No. Can't breathe but, in that. But who do you, so who do you think out of, let's just say, for the sake of argument, out of the new Suicide Squad characters, if, since already Peacemaker got his own show, who do you think is next to get their own show? Or who would you like? Because they did say uh, Detachable Man is still alive. That's what James Gunn says. So maybe that means he's doing a show about him. TDK, kind of thing, I, the detachable yeah, kid. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. Him with that little yeah, weasel like, shit. I like weasel, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a team-up show of them. That would be a shit show, man. No, but uh, let me... I don't know, I can... I can't see him doing a show on, on TDK, though. I, I think having him in a show... To, do you think uh, maybe uh, a, a Harley Quinn? Mm, no, because... Margot Robbie's too much. Maybe, maybe like I could see him doing like the, what's it, Polka Dot Man? Like his backstory, like maybe something like that. Mm, that would be cool. That would be pretty cool. I feel like he would do something weird. I feel like he won't go with like the obvious choice. Okay. Okay. Next piece of news: the the reports that John Bertho is to retain his role as Punisher in the MCU. That's a good I, one. So I, 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 if they when they if they brought back Kingpin in in um Daredevil. Charlie Cox, I, I I thought it was only a matter of time before they kept John Berthold. It just sucks like he's not going to be as violent as the Netflix show. Yeah, he's just, he's just smacking people with pillows and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's just suffocating everyone. That's all he has to kill because he's fucking then it's fucking fluffed and shit. God damn. He's, just fucking tickle tortures people. <laughs> you better tell me. <laughs> All right, I got two pieces of news left. The next piece of news is that John Krasinski, Jim from The Office, is rumored to play Mr. Fantastic, not just a variant, like a legit role. I like him. I love The Office, so I think it would be great. I think he looks a good part with the beard. What do you think? I think that's what, that's what everybody wants. I could definitely see that. I hope so, but I feel like I'm not getting my hopes up. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to – because I, I, I can't do this to myself, but um. I would like to see that. That would, that would be fucking dope. And it would be cool if they kept it under wraps this long, you know? Yeah. And like he, if they bury it. Bring, uh, his, his, bring his wife, too. His, if his, uh... I, think, I think if they bring John Krasinski, they would have uh, Emily Blunt, too, because everybody wants them as... Yeah, Mr. Fantastic. That's what I say. An invisible woman. Yeah. Perfect. She looks, yeah. she looks the part. And now it's been confirmed, this last piece of news, that Joker 2 looks like it's, it's going to start filming in 2023. Do you think there's still time for William Defoe to play the imposter like he wants to? I don't think so. I think because they already have their story planned out. Okay. The script's probably been written like since before Fucking COVID and everything. Crush my goddamn dream, sir. But okay. I know. I'm sorry, sir. Alrighty. I'm sorry. Well, now we'll get into the the juicy part of the story, the headlines, the meat and potatoes, as you would say. Meat and potatoes, yeah. The, the I, can't do a, I can't do a bugle. I don't mind going to try. Um, I don't know what a bugle is. I don't know. I don't know. Yep. 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 All right. Let's get into right. Spider-Man. Who do you, how do you want to start this off? We always have a problem starting this off because there's so much to talk about in one movie. Then I'm trying to think yeah. of... I would like to say I do like how they, they started it off with like... Um, the original Spider-Man song. I want to put that out there. You, yeah. When they showed the Marvel, they said Marvel, and they had like the original o, o, uh, the OG song was open. Awesome. It's a nice little touch. Um, I'd say I did like the concept of the Department of Defense's uh, damage control. I thought that was mm -hmm. I thought that was actual pretty cool concept because that's an actual real thing that would happen. Especially, yeah. especially it's like realistic to happen. Yeah. Um, and I think it is a funny thing how they're like, it, it's a good um, reason why uh, Vulture did what he did. It's because like the people that he goes, oh, the people that's making the mess, they're cleaning up and charging us money. I'm like, that's such a corporal thing that I feel like Tony Stark would do. And mm -hmm. so I thought that was a pretty cool concept. Yeah, it was just, it, it was just another fucking villain that Tony Stark created, but I did like him. I, I liked, I liked yeah. Michael Keaton in that role. It was fucking dope. 
Oh yeah, I think he did a great <clears throat> job. Sad to see he's, he's going back to Batman, but you know, he's always he's always there as Vulture. Vulture didn't oh. die, so right. He's supposed to be in Morbius. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, you're right. That's to be a shit show. What comes up? What if, dude? What if he really bombs? Not bombs, but like, what if it's not a good? Uh, he doesn't get good reaction to him as Batman in that Flash movie, and it's and it's. I, I don't think he is. <laughs> but think of that. He's gonna get shit on that, and then he's gonna get shitted on for Morbius, and he's gonna be like, you know what? I ain't coming back anymore. These fucking these nerds are too fucking hardcore. I feel like he'll do good as, Oof, right, as right. Tombs in a uh, in Morbius. I think Morbius is just gonna fucking bomb. But as far I don't care to see him in the Flashpoint at all. His fucking fucking stiff neck costume. Like, you, <laughs> like if he can't turn his neck, still there's no fucking way he should be alive this long. Call me crime. Call me Nosh- Nosh- bro. He's gonna. I swear to God, they're gonna make a joke about his stiff neck. Goes, oh, I should have got me one that like yours, where he moves his neck and shit. They're gonna make some cheesy ass fucking Marvel style fucking bread and butter, cornbread ass joke. So they're gonna do that. I already know yeah, that. that. That movie's not gonna do well. I'm I'm calling it now. <laughs> okay, what character would you like to get into first? Anyone in particular? Uh, you go. Take your lead, sir. Um, I have, well, I have a question. They had they had some little you know low name, not low name, but like obviously some other no- notable villains in there, but. They really tell them like who they really were. Um, do you think we'll see the guy who plays as the Tinkerer again? Because I think he's a, he could play a good helping other villains. I think that'd be pretty cool, and, and he's a good uh, escape for Marvel to go to when they if I would, you know people need uh, technology and shit. Because he's building all these. I don't. I would like to see him again, but I just feel like like Marvel won't use him again just because I think they just put him in there as like a as like a little Easter egg or like a nod, you know. Oh, Okay. But like, it would be cool because like I like I like that concept of like them taking the technology and like combining it with like with their technology and the alien tech. I thought yeah. that was cool. And I was like, that would that would make sense. And I think it's a perfect way for them to make villains. It's like, because all if it's like uh it's like the, um they're the cause of it in a sense. So before them, these villains weren't around. They're just like petty thugs. But now since the aliens came, leaving all this technology, that's what they how they made these super villains and stuff. So I think it's a really cool concept, honestly. It plays off perfectly, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. But uh, let's see, let's see. I uh, I guess we could talk about. We want to talk about Vulture because he had a good appearance in the show. So on the movie, my bad. Yeah. What did you think about Vulture? I like the I like the design of him. I like the the way his wings look. It would. I don't think I cared that much that they didn't make him like the original Vulture, like the stealing people's like youth and stuff like that. Wait, uh, like, hold on, hold on. You know, like, he steals like, people's youth. I didn't, I didn't even know this. To be honest with you, I thought he was just a bald-headed fucking old dude that was in a vulture suit. If I'm being real with you. <laughs> no, I just, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know much about about vulture. I just, I base it off of the the Spider-Man animated series that like, he was in there. I just know he would like, mm, he was like an yeah. old guy, but he would like. I remember him like there was a way that he kept on like, like getting young. Again, yeah, and he had to keep on absorbing. Yeah. I don't okay. know what that fucking shit was about. No idea. I don't know why that was a thing. I don't know if that's like it probably was canon. I don't know anything about him, but yeah. And I, I, I this vulture I loved. I loved his suit. I think he looked badass. Like this, I was like this, I was thinking like this is the first time Vulture has ever looked cool in anything. Like all his suits are like stupid as fuck in the cartoons. So like he actually I'm like wow Vulture actually looks pretty dope. And then I thought of this. Uh, this is kind of like this is the first Spider Man movie of Tom Holland's thing. And I compared it to Andrew Garfield's The Maze of Spider-Man. And I compared them and I was like, they both did one thing right. was like, they picked like C-level fucking villains, but they made them cool. Like, even though the Lizard didn't look that great, but he had a cool concept. Yeah. It was cool purpose. And it was like, it was worth it, to, you know. I think, that, yeah, like we said before, the first one, in other reviews, if you watch other episodes, if they're not on there. They will be on, on YouTube very soon. A Daily Bugle podcast. But... Coming at you. Coming at you hot. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So like, and we we could both say that the Amazing Spider-Man one was better than two, and the Spider-Man two had fucking had everyone it had Electro, it had Green Goblin, and no shit. But the first one was good with their villain. So I thought that was awesome that they brought in a not a huge villain for Spider-Man to take on. Like if it was oh, yeah. if and, it was uh, it was fucking like Harry Osborn, I'd be like, okay, this is kind of too much, but it's not, which is good. Yeah, and like speaking of his design, I like the I like the way the wings. Like 
articulated like how, and shit? Like, the, yeah, and like how when he would like come down, like it would like uh, attach to like whatever. So when I saw it was cool, and like the, even like the the you saw the things he had like on his feet that like could latch onto stuff. It was like the like like a bird like claw. vulture claws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was it was it was cool. It was a nice little like touch. I like the little pilot jack he had on with the the fur around the neck and like the the helmet, everything. I thought I thought he looked really cool. Yeah, I the did. Design was dope. Um, but I, I just feel like Spider Man. One punch from Spider Man would have fucking murdered this dude. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like that, yeah, but that's the same. That was like the same with like Doc Ock in uh in what Spider Man two. Yeah, this dude, like Spider Man like punching this dude falling off the the building. I'm just like, doesn't he have super strength? Isn't this guy just a human? But whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> um, do you want me to go through these? Because I have it written in my phone. Um periodically do the movie where it, where it goes do you want to try that way or you would want to just go back yeah. okay so the next part I, you, the next part i have is uh in the beginning after you know they show a little uh vulture little intro after you know he gets his business bought and they actually start robbing stuff and then they i think they killed the first fucking shocker which is very upsetting i like that shocker right he was way better as the shocker kind of, um, I, was, I was like tom, i was like tom hardy's twin i was like is that tom hardy bro but they probably was, like, like legit i had to go I googled that in the movie theater. I was like, "What the fuck? This is it." Like, I didn't know about this shit. He's about to be both these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but then after that, like, they do that scene where it says, and then it says the movie's about to start, and instead of saying the director's name, it says a film by Peter Parker. And then, it, then I thought that was a cool little thing they did, and like, it was just, yeah. it's him fucking showing his way there, like about to fight Captain America and stuff. I thought that was dope. Right. It set like the tone for the movie. It was, it was dope. All right. Yeah, and then that was a nice little touch, fucking little nerdy dude. So then after that, um, it goes into when he's at school and stuff like that, right? And maybe I went to a bad rabbit hole, but like when I thought it was kind of weird, like the first scene you ever see of Ned is at the locker, and then he puts a little, the little uh, uh, Palpatine Emperor Palpatine on his shoulder, and he does like a little evil voice. Oh yeah, the little Lego thing. Yeah, so I was like, I'm like, that's a weird scene, like to like an evil character. Then I started going down the rabbit hole. And it's saying that, like, I just read some crazy shit, like, he ends up getting framed as the Hobgoblin, Ned, and he gets killed and stuff mm -hmm. in the comics. But it was really, uh, this character called, like, it was a different character name, but it was an like, alternate universe of Harry Osborn, and I went to a deep fucking, a deep thing. It was real, it was real dark. It was real fucking dark, but... <laughs> It was yeah, like <laughs> you're in a dark place for a few days. It, it was saying like how stop, you stop bathing. He hadn't been outside. <laughs> it was like uh, it said like something about like the like, in the last arc of that that comic series was um, Spider Man went to go find the actual Hobgoblin who was uh, who was Harry Osborn, but he was like a different hero name. And then, then he Spider Man found out that he dug the corpses of Ned, Gwen, and Mary Jane out and put them at a kitchen table when Spider Man got there. Some shit like that. Some crazy shit. It was Jesus fucking. Christ. I was like, God damn, Spider Man, <laughs> give me, <laughs> give me the rainbows, bro. Fuck, but it was pretty dark. <laughs> but I thought that was a cool thing. And then I, then I also, you know, I uh, thought about this, the nerdy bully and Indian guy. I thought it was pretty lame. Yeah, he's fucking lame. I guess it's like a newer type of villains. I guess maybe like I, no, I, not bullies. I get it. As much as, as much as you tell me, like, oh yeah, it's more like a modern day bully, blah blah blah. Like you, not, just at least have someone that looks way. Not this nerdy ass dude, you know. And also, I was thinking like, uh, I'm like, but like, even if he was, the, he, cause yes, there's, there's modern day bullies where they're not all like the typical white kid with a with a fucking skin fade on his head yeah. and shit. But like, like, I don't need to see anybody getting shoved into a locker because like, there's no, there's really no fucking bullies in the world like that. Like, it's over the top. Like, this is borderline abuse and you're a sociopath type of shit. Like, yeah, we don't need that. But like, yeah, I don't need what they gave us with Flash. Yeah, because I was just, but I looked in just like a, like a regular standpoint. I was just like, I'm like, even just take all this aside. If t Tom Holland in real life would probably beat that dude's ass. Like I'm like this guy's way bigger like than like legit. he's like Jack he's like a little Jack little fucking Wolverine over here. I'm like he's gonna beat up this yeah, fucking like, Indian he, dude, he bro. Have to have the powers of Spider Man. He could still whoop this dude's ass. Like. Exactly. I'm like he can beat you up. Let's be real. But uh, that I thought that and I for I actually forgot about that girl Liz in this movie. I was like, oh shit I forgot that he liked her more or whatever. I don't know. Oh yeah yeah. It was weird to see after because I hadn't seen that movie in a while at that point. And I was like, who's this, who's this B-word? I'm just kidding. But uh, she was this hella, she was this hella tall, too. I was like, she's way too tall for this guy. I'm like, this this can't work, I bro. I'm just like, get out of here. I'm just like, nah. But hey, look, look at my boy, uh, Tom Holland. That boy got the jungle fever, bro. Every girl likes his black, man. <laughs> my fucking guy. <laughs> uh, he just comes out, does a little, some, a little pickup. He's like, he does some ballet in front of them, you know, like, <laughs> Tom Holland dancing and shit. Yeah. <laughs>
They're like, this white boy got rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> my boy's been saving too many uh, Mama Citas in the hood, bro. He's He's got the fever, bro. <laughs> he's out there. Got it bad. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so as his movies go on, you know, he goes to the, that his, uh, his friend Murph's deli shop, you remember that scene? And he's like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's like talking in Spanish something about, about his Aunt May and shit, whatever. But then I seen that cat that they called, no, the cat was called Mur, Murph. And I thought it was like, I thought he was one of those uh, flurkins that sc- uh, scratched up, uh, what's his face's eye? Uh, Nick Fury. I was, oh, yeah, like, Nick I was like, is he a flurkin? And it's like, I, I Googled it and it was like rumors that he was, but I don't think he was. But it was just me and Damn, you went down there. You went down there. Dude, you, you were you were fucking on it today. You were just like, this. Uh, I got like, I got touching everything. I got more, man. I I was definitely very high when I was watching this. So I was just like, I know, you're just like you did some weed. You're like you did some psychedelic. Like, <laughs> into the movie. <laughs> this movie legit was like what two and a half hours. It probably took me like three and a half hours. I just kept pausing it, looking shit up. It took too long. Like, <laughs> they're like Karen, get in here. <laughs> you look closely at this part, right? You see that? You see that? <laughs> I'm like fat checking into it. I got algorithms on the wall. Like this looks perfect. Um, but also, like this, then it keeps showing him like you know saving people. Um, and then remember that guy was like, "Hey, Spider Man, do a flip." Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, do you know who that guy is? He's in. That's, not, that's the same guy that was in um, Shang Chi. And he was in. Yeah. And he's in No Way Home. So I'm like, this guy is like everywhere too. He's oh, yeah, like, yeah. he's canon. Yeah, when he, when he was in court and everybody was throwing questions at him, yeah. he's doing a flip. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. But yeah, that, that was like when I first saw that that scene in the movie. I, like I, I don't know. I was just like, this is such a fucking. I don't know. I could see that happen in real life. And he's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and he just felt all proud and shit. <laughs> yeah. He's like, like, yeah, yeah Spider Man. He's like, that keeps Spider Man. Do a flip, Spider Man. Fucking. Fucking, yeah, that, I, I really like that. Like, as soon as he got out of school, like, um, I, I, I think I talk about this all the time, but like, how he. I, I just like the whole suit up scene. He, like, I mean, all right, it was kind of. I don't know why. He, as soon as he walked out of school, this motherfucker just hopped over a 12 foot fence. Yeah, like, like no. And, and he looked back like, like no one's looking. <laughs> I'm like, just, everyone's looking, bro. There's someone. <laughs> But I'm like, all right. But after that, when he goes, I like that whole scene. And I always talk about this, but the way he puts the suit on, like, it fucking just makes sense. Like, what do you mean? <clears throat> instead of him having to put on like a tight ass suit, like, because it's, it's like a tech, it's a, it's a Stark. Oh yeah, suit. yeah, so, like, yeah. Puts yeah. it on, push the thing, in, and then it like tightens up. But I was like, because we we have that with like uh, astronaut suits. I'm pretty sure it's like airtight. That and uh, I think a uh, fighter fighter pilot, I believe, something similar like that. Where it cuts off the air off out. But yeah, so I thought that was cool. And I, what I realized about this movie, like this movie's tone was more jokey. Um, he was like a jokey kind of like he was kind of like Andrew uh, once again comparing to Aaron Godfrey, but it was like he was making those little jokes when he was in his suit and shit, which I thought it was cool. And I was just like, wow, I kind of miss this this kind of Tom Holland when he's like a more like a funny kind of guy, but it just shows yeah. the magnitude of his movies in a row. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like the stuff he's gone through. So after we watching obviously No Way Home, we're like, damn, it's kind of pretty serious. And now then I'm talking about like, well, Andrew Godfrey does a great job. He does the best of him being jokey. But I, I was also like, but then now watching this, I'm like, oh, it wasn't really that. It was just like, it wasn't the time in the story yet. So I'm sure we'll get more like sad, you know, obviously he's alone, but like, I'm sure he'll get more jokey moments now, which will be cool if he comes back. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I, um, but yeah, I definitely, I love the tone of this movie. It was really, it was really nice to, to see because I guess there was a lot of things they did right with this movie that they didn't I, carry over to like the sequels, especially Far from home. I mean, yeah, far from home. I, I wasn't a huge fan of that movie. Man, me neither. Uh, but like, I just like the, I like the whole like. It was like a kid in high school who had powers. I don't know. It was like it was, he did a really good job playing like a like a high schooler who was just like awkward and stuff like that. Like, I can't remember like any specific scenes. Like, just even like the way he like would like deliver his lines. Like, I don't know. He would like stutter sometimes and like the weird like yeah. body language that like, he did. He'd be like oh, when he, when he asked Liz to go to the prom like you want she wanted to go. He was like, "Oh well, yeah, yeah, like that, yeah, that that scene actually. I remember watching that, and I was like, damn, that's some like real deal.' Like I've been there, bro. Like, it's so yeah. awkward. And I was smiling for him. I was like, "That's my boy. You go, PD. You go, <laughs> get it." That okay. scene always, dude. That scene always like makes me sad. In the when he, when they go to homecoming with her, and then he just like, he's just like, "I gotta go. I have to go." He's like, "I'm sorry. I'm just like, come on, man. I'm like, do you have just, to?" Like, the scene, and just like the homie, like you know, the second part when like, they're about to hop in the pool, I'm like, just, just don't fight crime for one night, man. Just go in the pool. <laughs> she told, oh, I'm just like, damn. Show those abs, bro. Just go in there, bro. You're laying it down, bro. But uh, do a 
Flipping that fool, yeah. The guy's like, do a flip from the second balcony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Spider Man. Um, I don't know. Again, more rabbit hole shit. I thought it was pretty ironic when Ned catches him. He was climbing across the wall, and then Ned saw, saw him, and then he kind of like he was hanging by his, his hand, and he dropped down, and that's the same thing he made Andrew Garfield do. Run, oh, he yeah. jumped up, touched the wall, and he's like, "Run, go across," just like when he first seen Tom Holland do it. Thought it was kind of oh, a yeah. crazy comparison. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. We just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. We got a new follower. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. We love you. Cham- we you. Champagne Dizzy. Champagne out here, boy. Yeah. Should bring had a champagne downstairs. We just saw fucking every t- hey every time we get a <laughs> every time we get a That's follower. Chilly, every time we get a fucking follower, I got like twenty over here. Psh, fucking yeah, rooms a mess. Like hundreds of bottles of champagne. Around, just a just mess waiting. out here. <laughs> that that and like little little fucking confetti. We just oh shit, air. my bad, bro. I just got the noise now. We have. Sandalyn33 has followed. Thank you, Sandalyn. My bad, man. It made no sign. Uh, Shay Slater23 has followed. Thank you. Dad Bod Tom. Thank you. Thank you. I'm with you, brother. Same over here, Dad yeah, Bod. That's a, that's a, that is a great name. So. That's, that's going to be on my... Great f- name. Not t- it won't say Todd. It'll say Justin, but like it'll be uh, that'll be on my gravestone pretty much. Dad Bod Todd. <laughs> <laughs> the Fly Spider Guy. Just like Damn. Just completely change your name to Todd. We got a fucking... We got a famous guy. We got a... Fucking Spider-Man's uh, alternate handle, the Fly Spider Guy. So he's with us. He might be like, "Fuck you, this that's not what happened when I did in my movie." So, and then of course, as I just said, Champagne Dizzy. But I appreciate it all, guys. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, guys. So you love it. This is this is new. This has never happened to us before. <laughs> I know, right? This is awesome. So damn you! Thank you for the follow, man. I truly appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Just we getting, we have like more than I'm, twenty affinity stones yeah. right now, but we out here. We, we yeah. get it. <laughs> now I'm nervous. I'm just like, oh my god, two player one. Too much pressure. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hands. I just like pick up and just leave. Like Justin, where'd you go? And I just run out and scare you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Back to Spider Man. All right. Okay, this is what I have to point this out. I'm not trying to be like you know whatever, but let's talk about Aunt May. Let's be real. This is when she first shows. Yeah. I, I, one thing I like how they make it a joke where like they know she's hot, so like she's a hot, she's the baddest Aunt May ever. Like obviously, the last two were like over. I prefer they, they felt like they were over seven years old. So this one's under. She's yeah. she's probably over forty, but she looks like she's like in thirties. And like how that guy said, "Oh, drink, the food's on me at the like the like the Asian restaurant." Oh yeah. So I thought that was funny. Yeah. But I hate how they. Yeah, I like how they played on that. Yeah. But I hate how they give her glasses and expect us to think that she's old. She put on like the glass. I'm like, you're even hotter, bro. Stop it. You're not. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Like, like, get this shit out of, yeah. like I, <laughs> you're I, not I, fooling I me, lady. Chose, I just chose to over overlook that, I guess. Me too. Uh, but yeah, that was kind. Of, I was just like, when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck is that? But I, I was, I think I was just so happy to have uh, Spider Man in the MCU. I was like, give me anything. I don't give a yeah. fuck. I'm just like, <laughs> Aunt May is actually uh, his niece and shit. Make, make Aunt May a guy. I don't give a fuck. You know, <laughs> uncle, Uncle. That'd be fucking funny. funny. <laughs> Reverse everything. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it's like, so when she put the glasses on, it's like, if I would walk up to you and I had one of those stupid ass, like, glasses and the, the fake nose and mustache, you're like, it's still Justin there. <laughs> I know who that is. You're like, damn, you got me. You can't, fucking, you can't fool me. I thought I was just a regular guy, but uh, I, I just had to point that out. I did find it funny. I like the little nods to uh, Captain America. He's doing his fitness challenge. And them adding him. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Them adding Hannibal Burrs is, was hilarious because he's just like, they're like you know what you're gonna be in this movie, but all your lines is just gonna shit on Marvel. Like oh, I'm pre-, like like oh, how he was saying that he goes oh, I'm pretty sure uh, Captain America, America, Captain America is a is a war criminal. So like yeah. so that's cool that we're showing yeah, him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a real war criminal, but oh, whatever. <laughs> and then even in like uh, um, even in um, uh, No Way Home, he's like boo, Spider Man, Mysterio was right. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Like, we don't feel oh, that yeah. way. Yes, we do. You're a murderer. Yeah. I was like, this guy is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I wish they, he had like a bigger role, like just a little bit more screen time. Cause I, I, just, I think Hannibal Buress is funny. He, I bet you he was just baked for every one yeah. of those. Yes, he, he was. Too, he was just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, one. I did have one problem. Uh, the, the, you know, the movie goes on. Uh, I'm pretty sure they go to the like the the lunch scene. Maybe that's after later. But when it, they're in the gym locker room. 
I did. I, this is another scene that you said, like, when he's trying to play up that he's not a super powered person. He's just a nerdy kid. When he's talking to, if you realize, when he was talking to Ned and he was doing his push ups, and he was like, killing, he was just crushing push ups, but he kept, he was distracted because he was talking to Ned, and the gym teacher was like, good yeah. job, Parker. And he, then he stopped slowing down, like, oh, I, I forgot. Like, so that was a good, that's like a subtle nod that, you know, people would. Yo, that's actually, I don't even, I don't even think I've, I noticed that. Uh, yeah. It's freaking yeah. dope. Uh, I tell you, I was yeah, so there's like so fake, much bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Detail. I saw you're a flop. Just, you're not even sitting. You're literally just like floating in the air, just like. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if you pause that 20 minutes and 19 seconds, you'll see a fly in the background gets on screen time for 30 seconds, bro. I saw it. Every detail, it. Not even looking. You're just like. <laughs> your eyes rolling back your head. They just turn away. You're just like. <laughs> just fucking like Scarlet Witch. Just fucking. That's <laughs> your your nose starts to bleed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, but then I thought it was, I thought it was weird. I didn't like how, like, I guess they had to make a drama, but why Ned bleeded out, like, bleeped out, or blurted out that he knows Spider-Man. I was like, I don't like, I don't really, and then them getting upset, they, I guess because they're kids, they're like, oh, you got to bring them to the party, you know, like, whatever, so we won't be lame people anymore. And I was kind of like, oh, it's whatever. But I guess that is a thing kids right. talk about, but I don't know what you thought about that part. Yeah, I'm just like, um, fuck off. I'm like, fuck off, small white thing. Why you put my business out there? Yeah. <laughs> But I, I gotta go. Say, he was just trying to be a good wingman. But yeah, I I, I thought <laughs> I thought it was also funny uh, when he's at the party and he was just like he's like when are you gonna turn to uh when are you gonna bring Spider Man here just you know come in here sh- shake my hand you know let, let people take pictures he's like no I, I don't think I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna try to be myself and then uh, Ned's like Peter no one wants that <laughs> and he's like well I'm just gonna be myself and see how that takes me he goes Peter no one wants that and I was like you're right man. That was funny. What Ned said. Okay, but then when he then when he goes to chase after the the whole vulture thing, oh, he's trying to find the weapons and stuff. And then he then when he like goes to the golf course, but there's no uh, tree, so he had to run across. I thought that was yeah. I wanted that to be like a gift we had. It was just him running across the golf field because I'm like that's like that's right there. Oh, that was dope. Like, <laughs> you see him just like shoot the and then yeah, I thought that was cool. But that, that was like one thing like that I had I think I mentioned this in the in the No Way Home review, but like there just wasn't like a lot of I, I think this movie did like the best with like the way he utilized his web swinging and stuff like that, especially like on the the scene like where uh the ferry where the ferry was breaking apart, like the way he did that. But there was just like no dope like like scene of him like swinging through the city and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, like like how how they had in uh the first even two um like uh Tobey Maguire Spider Man and the Amazing Spider Man. They always had the web swing on point, especially the Amazing Spider-Man. I definitely, yeah. I feel like I, it was like a little bit of a, a letdown in that department. No, I agree. I totally agree with you. It was about him being Spider-Man. It was more about him being trying to be an Avenger. So we didn't, mm-hmm. we didn't like maybe, I, maybe though they just were like, we want to do something totally different. Obviously, I, I don't know. I like the, I like this kind of way where he's like brought up by Tony Stark. I like the whole fatherly figure. But you're right. Like there was no scenes where he just like, no POV scene where he's like fucking swinging up and shit like that or anything cool and stuff like that it was just yeah like think of like any like big web swing scene from even uh andrew garfield spider-man you just like uh, as much as you don't like those movies i don't know just, but the web no, swing on the uh, phone is just yeah so, I, it's fucking I, awesome i agree with you 100 it was that. just like done right i, yep. I feel like i feel like maybe it's, it's the director who just didn't know how to like shoot scenes like that or i don't know but yeah no i agree um, that was just one of the few that was one of the few nitpicks i had with this movie yeah no, I I definitely agree. I feel like, um, and I also feel like his web shooting is like secondary. Like he doesn't use any like different types of webbings, like kind of like Andrew Garfield did. Like, well, I guess Tobey Maguire didn't either, but Tobey Maguire was more like a I feel like a realistic Spider Man kind of. Yeah, because his were like organic. Like yeah, yeah. Like, can't really do much different. But like uh, you know how like Andrew Garfield he had like different like webbers, right? Yeah, he had different types of uh, webs. Like he had uh, yeah, he had, I'm pretty sure he had different types of web. Am I wrong? I don't remember. I remember just one scene in the uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two where he had to make like some electric webbing to like yeah. counteract Electro's powers. But Sp- but, but Sp- uh, Spider-Man from from No Way Home, he doesn't really use any different ones, does he? Or was that like maybe like in the third one? But I feel like he yeah, did. No, they, he really doesn't like um because remember they showed he had a bunch of options for webbing. But he which ne- I got I got excited when I saw that like when like oh he just did I that. Can talk about this all the time. He did that stupid one when he tried to go all kill mode and he used like the shitty webbing, like yeah, it was like the one that like split apart and then he had like then he had like the impact webbing though at one point. Yeah, he did use um, 
on the ferry, he did use the, uh, it was like a web grenade, whatever. He like shot it. And oh, yeah. It. What am I saying? I'm stupid. <laughs> but like, they're like, actually, he did use a few different webs. I, and like, I, I thought they were going to carry over that like in, in the other movies and they kind of just like left it. Like, yep. That's why yeah. I, talk, I talk about it all the time. That was one of my favorite things. How like when he unlocked the suit, he could like, he, he looked and it was like electronic. He could like, it was like a digital interface. He could look at the different type of webbing and it, it, it made sense for like how he could quickly s switch through and do different stuff with, with his web shooters. I thought that was cool. I liked, um, and it, yeah, it, like a lot of people didn't like the technology aspect of it, but I, I thought just, like, it made sense. Yeah. I thought it, it made sense for yeah. the character, you know, for I, that version of him. I agree. And I think that's like, that was Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Like that's the way he's going to define himself. Like he was the, the in a sense, Iron Man prodigy. We already got mm -hmm. the Tobey Maguire. We already got the uh, just the regular OG Spider Man. We got the Amazing Spider Man. Now we got the one that's like awesome with Stark Tech. It's just a shame he didn't get to use it, like you said, because now Stark Stark is gone. He's gonna go back to yeah. the, your neighborhood Spider Man. So he's not gonna ever get this webbing unless he makes it himself. But I don't really see that happening, honestly. Yeah. So like, I just I I got really happy when I saw that, and I was like, damn, it's gonna be dope. Like, just the way the whole suit was set up, you know, like that was. Yep, I talk about that all the time, and I like um, I like, I like his AI <laughs> interface, Karen, whatever. Yeah, he's all like, uh, talking I like to her. Talk. I I love that, but it was like it was cool because it was like in the in the comics and in the uh, like the TV show even he would you know he always like talks to himself and stuff like that, so it made it yeah it made it like it made sense like as he was talking to this to this you know like to to the AI it was like his little inner monologue kind of whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and then like uh. But, like I love how like she he was like oh thanks Karen maybe I'll take your advice and shit and then uh he's like saving Liz in the elevator and she's like yeah, Peter <laughs> and she's like this is your chance Peter kiss her and I was just, I was fucking dying when I seen that shit <laughs> dude I was dead and I was like it, it just fit so perfect in that in that scene yeah but uh it goes back to the scene uh, I'm gonna go back to the scene where Donald Glover finds the guns oh he's trying to buy the guns I thought was, I thought Donald Glover was pretty funny he played like a high guy I feel like he was just high when I first time I seen him especially near the car he was yeah. like, but uh and he was like he made obviously he made, I, liked, I liked his he, he made a nod to his because he he has a, a nephew right so he ends up becoming the yeah. prowler right Donald Glover would be the prowler yeah yeah he's supposed to that his character so that'd be cool that'd be they dope they bring the prowler I then. Can see him as the prowler. And I think they're gonna do a Miles Morales. I think they will. Um, but I like when he's buying the guns and like that dude who shot her was like, "Oh, this is he sh like, show him that crazy ass gun." And he's like, "Dude, I'm not trying to shoot anyone back into time." And I was like, "I'm just trying to rob yeah. people." And I was like, "That's pretty funny." Yeah, I like his like fucking yeah. He was like stoned, but uh, that was true. Though. I'm just like, what the fuck? This. But my thing was like. If you're trying to buy a gun, like you, you know, man, don't you know, aren't these the people? Yeah. That have, like alien tech in town. Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like why would you go to the guy with the alien tech? It's like you know what? Let me just try this. It's like that one connector. Like man, I don't want to hit this guy up, but maybe you might have something. It's like, and he's like, oh, I got some oxycodons. Like bitch, I act for like weed, bro. I don't want no oxys. You're like the fucking. <laughs> You, you act like these people are gonna have like oh I'm just gonna have like a quick little nine millimeter. It's yeah. Like, you could probably get that down the street, motherfucker. Yeah, for like a couple. But like, I did. I did like. <laughs> I, I did like his I, every the, the the few scenes he was in. I definitely liked him. Yeah, I did too. Um, and I, I like like I said earlier, I like I liked the original uh, Shocker. It sucked that he died. I guess the black guy could. Right, be, he was so much better. The black guy, I guess, could be cool, but I just gotta see it. And I think he needs to be in like if Spider Man's gonna go back to the these low level people. I think it would be perfect to bring in uh, the Shocker. Like he already knows him. He's not dead, so like mm -hmm. they can use him. He could also probably get the Vulture out, or like the Vulture would be sending him messages and stuff like that. And then he could be fighting. Mm -hmm. so I think it'll be cool if he gets a whole suit and shit. And oh yeah, because I, I think originally he was supposed to have a suit. I remember seeing like, and that was like fake. I don't really, I didn't really do my research back then. But he, there was like a set photo of him in the shocker suit. They probably like, you know, like did reshoots and didn't use that. But I thought I remember seeing that. But it it, it wouldn't have made sense for that movie. Yeah, that's true. But I wish. But, yeah, I wish they didn't kill that shocker. And then, what do you think about the? No, I think. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, I was gonna, just going to say, they, they, that was, like, I think the only issue I had with uh, Michael Keaton's character was, like, when when he killed Shocker by accident, it was, like, played as, like, a joke, kind of, because he didn't mean to kill him, but, like, yeah. it's, like, the type of person he was. He wasn't a killer. I feel like he would have had, like, a little bit more remorse for that, yeah. you know? Yeah. He's like, I thought this was an anti-gravity gun. I'm like, really, bro? Yeah, like, I, I yeah, like that a, was, like, a knee that slapper, was, like, you know? Oh, you just fucking... Turn this guy to Ash. That's so funny, bro. We're just gonna look, look at your just murder someone in a second. <laughs> yeah, because 
before and after that, he never really like showed like at, at, at any, any other point that was if he had to was doing something bad it was for because he had to, you know. Yeah, exactly. So it made no sense. It didn't fit. I don't know if it was like contractual issues or whatever with yeah. the actor. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think about yeah. the, the Matt or, the Matt Gargan guy, the guy who plays? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Wait, we're we gonna say who, wait, Matt Gargan. Yeah, Matt Gargan. Uh, Scorpion. That's the guy's name, Matt Gargan. He looks cool. I could see him playing a a cool, crazy ass scorpion. But can we be a little less obvious with a scorpion on your neck, bro? Let's just. I mean, yeah, that I feel like that was Sony. They're just like, hey guys. It's, yeah, it's just like here's a here's a here, here's an Easter egg, and you're just like, um, yeah, that's that's fucking <laughs> yeah. Kind of the, yeah, it's like a it's a motherfucking whole Easter basket right there. <laughs> Is it's uh the Marvel's doing their fucking like Easter eggs and then Sony's like you know what we're gonna put Scorpion on his neck bro boom Easter egg bro that's how you do it right it's like no that's you make it a little more like subtle and savvy than that just like fucking put a sticker uh, tattoo on someone's neck but which it's like Sony's like the dumbass little brother so you just gotta like you just gotta push him along the ride I guess just the special little brother you know yeah what do you uh I like how the first scene when he does fight Vulture Vulture beats the shit out of him. And he actually like they didn't really make it a big emphasis, but Spider Man almost died in the water. If if uh, that rope, if Iron Man's suit thing didn't save him, he would have been dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh for sure. That thing because he was trapped. Yeah. He was trapped in the parachute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was a dope scene. How he just like f- like uh, Vulture just like dropped him. I was like, I right, peace, dude. And, and it shows right there. Oh, yeah. and, like and, if he was a guy that was just jokey and shit, and he's just like murdering people, like he wouldn't be jokey about it. You know, he should have played a. I don't know why they made it a joke. This motherfuckers dropping. Yeah. Random people from from the, the the atmosphere atmosphere and shit. So yeah, I thought that was cool. I liked how the I really like the suit. I liked how the suit. I mean, I think I keep on saying that, but I like how the suit had the parachute that came out. I was like, yeah, it was fucking cool. A nice little little touch. And I I like how they're like they're like five thousand seven hundred different combinations for his suit and shit. But he had the training wheels on, and I'm like, and it makes you be like, damn, I can't. I want to see this shit full full force. That would be dope. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I wrote. Uh, yeah, five hundred seventy six web shooter com. They had five hundred seventy six web shooter combinations. I want to see more web shooter com- combinations. Did you, when you when you were watching this, someone did you like pause the movie and look at every <laughs> every uh, web shooter combination? No, I. <laughs> I, Damn, I was really hoping you did, dude, because I wanted to ask. I because I, I thought about doing that before, but I'm just like, oh, it's fucking too much to. I, I did uh, get up from the couch, go all the way over there. <laughs> I, it was a, it was a lot. It was it was that he did cycle through a lot. I did not see all of them. I did not. Um. I did have the subtitles on so I could hear what they say. So if I can see little catch little things, I did that. Mm-hmm. But maybe I should have fucked up. I should have done a better job. I should have researched it. I should have. I just have a whole list of. Like, Actually, here he goes. <laughs> like, let me get some sparkling water from my throat while I do this. Um. But oh, here's another problem I have with this movie. How did the vulture go from collateral damage to a fucking suit pilot? I feel like that would be really hard to do, right? In six yeah, months, yeah, maybe. He's like, uh, he's like, he's like, he's like, hella old, and he's like, you know what? I can operate this suit. The Tinker made it. I got this. I got this. Here, okay, here's please. what it is. He, he was a retired, he was a retired military person who flew fucking jets and shit. Yeah, there we go. Makes sense. Perfect. And that was like, so he retired from that. You know, he did that for, so he did that for twenty years, and boom. Now he's uh, he started his second life because he has a family now. He can't be fighting in jets and shit like that. Okay, yeah, that's a bad story. I just get maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'll believe you. I'll believe you on this one. I don't know anything. <laughs> Speaking about web shooters, I did catch one web shooter and I wrote it on my phone. I'm glad. See, I'm glad I wrote all these notes. I was gonna try to remember it, and it would have been fucking devastating. Um, when he was in the, you know, you know when he's trying to stop Vulture, and, and the Vulture puts he he falls in the the crate, and he goes into that damage damage control facility. Yeah. And he's going through combinations, and when he was in, he said he has the rip uh, ricochet webs. I don't know if you you caught when he said I don't know when part, but they said they mentioned that he has like ricochet webs. Oh yeah, <clears throat> and, I mean, like he's like, what's that doing? He like shoots it at the wall and like fucking. Yeah, so ricochet webs is actually a nod to Spider Man when he became. Uh, I was in the comics when I used to have that big Marvel encyclopedia. I've never seen a character called Ricochet, and I was like, oh, that's fucking cool. And I was reading about it, and it said his name is Peter Parker. So he becomes Ricochet after he gets blamed by a green goblin for killing mary jane so, so they blame spider-man for killing mary jane and then he becomes ricochet until he gets his name cleared so i don't think that was does a, it look like 
Does he look like Spider Man uh, when he's ricocheting, or does he look completely different? He looks like he looks like a regular person, dude. I'm gonna pull it up right now. Ricochet, Marvel. I think he looks like. Uh, he has. It looks like kind of like Spider Man's face a little bit, but he has like a leather jacket. He looks pretty cool. I would show you, but you probably well, speaking of. You ever see it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what happened? I want to stun this my phone? Uh, but yeah, yeah speaking yeah. of ricochet bullets, I just I just realized um, rico- ricochet webs. Do you think he actually know? Because uh, I, I was gonna say, remember the part where like um, he went to catch the elevator, like he he had just crashed through the window. Yeah. And he shot the web and it, like it bounced off or something, and then and then it caught the elevator. Oh, that might have been ricochet webs, like, or no? Yeah, maybe. Like that's what I'm thinking. Because like, when he, when he said that, I, I just thought about that. But um, I just sent it to you. That looks fucking lame. That's such a 90s thing. It is. That's what I say. It's 90s. <laughs> My fucking leather jacket and flowy hair. Just fucking... Oh, boy. <laughs> About to do a grease number. Yeah. <laughs> He's like... See, before you, I... see, you see him pull out that thing. It looks like it's like a switchblade comb. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you gotta get my hair ready for this one. Got your boys. But uh, I also thought it was pretty cool that like it kind of shows how... Even though he is, you know... A superhuman, whatever. When he was on top of the the monument, the the DC monument, and he was like scared of heights, he was like looking over and shit. I was like, that could be a real thing. Like you could get bit by a spider, have all these crazy like abilities to web sling, but you'd be terrified and shit, really. Oh yeah, because it was like played perfectly too. Like the way he was like peering over, you could like and uh yeah yeah he's like I never I never been this high before. I'm just like oh, it makes sense because he's only been Spider Man like a couple months, you know. And he, yeah. Do you, yeah. do you think I mean, this is maybe me trying to defend it? You think that's why he didn't like do any crazy web slinging scenes because he was he, fuck that shit. You, you gotta <laughs> give me some, give me something. In the, it does, he doesn't have to be like fucking perfect at it, you know. Like he yeah. can be like falling, kind of like fumbling over. Not as like you could show like his progression, you know. Like he's like kind of like sloppy with it at first, and then by like as like the movies progress, he gets like way more proficient. Yeah, give me anything. I don't know. It's I a hope movie. he I better f- be swinging on some big ass building. I feel like they just did that this three trilogy to like have like a cool just to show a cool version of spider-man but i think now marvel will probably do like more of the web slinger i'm hoping i have mm-hmm. faith marvel will do that the fucking tom holland sticks around this motherfucker is trying just to, hard to get out this he's like i just want to have like, just let me go he was like i will get zendaya pregnant if you just let me go <laughs> like i'm gonna knock her up if you don't let me out i'm gonna knock her up bro and then we're, we're here with a mess it's like jesus christ <laughs> like i'm knocking everybody <laughs> I, wh- how do you feel about the presence of Tony Stark in the movie? I, I thought he was a great mentor and father figure, but what do you think? I thought it was it, it made sense. I don't I don't know like because the way he they had to do something because like the way that that he got he, he got brought into Civil War it was kind of like because remember like he wasn't they had already pretty much finished um, shooting Civil War and then they got. But they, that deal went through where they can get Spider Man, so they went back and did reshoots to add him to the movie. Yeah. So um, and I forgot where the fuck I was going. But I just <laughs> what were you talking about? I was talking no, about um, him as. Do you like him as a father figure uh, mentor? Oh yeah. So like yeah, there we go. Thanks. Uh, so he got brought on by him, so he hadn't he, he had to be part of his life somehow. You know, like it, it kind of made sense. I feel like they they overdid it, and um. And far from home, when he was like sad that he was dead, I was just like, guy, that we get it, man." Like, yeah. What about what about Uncle Ben? You fucking traitor. Yeah. What about him? You son of a bitch. You didn't even talk about him. Hell yeah. But I think it, it made sense because he was he was I don't think he wasn't in the movie much. It's not like when I remember when I saw the trailer, I thought he was even gonna like help him in a fight. He didn't really do much. He helped him a couple times. He pulled this, him out of the water and then like the, fixed the, the ferry. Yeah, that's true. He didn't help him fight Vulture because I thought he was gonna show up at the end of the movie. I was still out. My, I wanted it to happen just because uh, I don't know it would have been a dope fucking team up but yeah. Iron Man but realistically Iron Man would have wrecked uh, Vulture oh yeah he's like oh you're wearing pretty much <laughs> my gear with some alien technology yeah, like what is this you would have hit him with one of the blast we would have like, <laughs> yeah. that little missile you just shoots out and just blows shit up yeah. hell yeah he was like get out of here did you notice um, later on in the, the, the movie uh, Spider-Man was wearing a shirt that said I survived my trip to New York he's like wearing a white t-shirt that said mm-hmm. I surprised my trip to New oh, York. Oh, yeah, yeah. I survived. Not surprised. What am I saying, bro? But, uh, but yeah, if, you, if I, you're... I heard survived. But if you watched, watched it in that movie, it was, like, kind of big on him. But then if you watch in uh, No Way Home, he's wearing that same shirt, but he filled he filled it in more. That was a little Easter egg I seen when No Way Home came out. And I kept an eye out for it, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Because he wears it in the third one. 
big, big swole Spider Man. And then I, I thought it was funny how the school mascot is the is the Tigers, like let's go Tiger, kind of like an MJ mm-hmm. reference. I thought that was pretty, pretty witty, I guess. Um, I thought. How did you feel about? Oh, go ahead, sorry. sorry. No, go for it, man. I was gonna. I was just. I'm curious about how did you feel about Zendaya, Zendaya in this movie. I didn't like MJ. I don't like her in this movie. I didn't. I liked her. In, I liked her in the other ones. She felt like she fit her her role better. It was just like. I feel like yeah, they. I feel like they, yeah, they like kind of overdid it with her with the little fucking emo, smart aleck. I don't know. It was yeah, a little, just a smart ass. Like I'm always, you know, I'm always fucking, kind of like I'm better than you. I don't know. She has a, like a weird attitude to her, in the show, the movie. Yeah, and then even even a little bit still in uh, in Far From Home, but then by by No Way Home, I liked it because I didn't really care for her. I, I I felt like I, I thought they had I thought her and Tom Holland had like good chemistry in the second movie, like yeah. definitely like on screen chemistry for sure. But I just didn't care for her character. But in No Way Home, she was like more normal, you know. No, yeah, I agree. And it could be like a uh, like a I don't think they planned it to be a character de- de- development. Maybe they did, but yeah, at first I wasn't really a fan of it. Um, hey. <sighs> I did like um a little something like I noticed like um she was like if you rewatch the movie like she was like always like paying attention to what, what Peter was doing like he, he left uh he left attention the way she was looking at him when any any time like uh, Liz was like talking to her so talking to him yeah like I, I thought that was cool I um that's why I kind of I find I it didn't really, oh go ahead sorry I didn't I didn't care for like the whole little the whole MJ reveal at the end of the movie. Remember how she, they called her, they were calling her like, what, Michelle or something? She's like, oh, my friends call me MJ. But I'm like, aren't you guys friends? I'm just, yeah. Aren't you, haven't you been friends for, fucking, this is high school, man. Yeah, that's true. I, I didn't understand that. I, I think they try to make it a big, big, like, secret, but it wasn't really, really good of a secret, honestly. Because if your friends call you MJ, but she has no friends, then, then who really calls you MJ? Because she was just a loner, too. What right. friends are we talking about? Because all you care about is Spider Man. That's that's why you knew he was Spider Man because you fucking keep tracks of this man like a stalker. It was like right. it was like Hel- uh, yeah, it was like yeah, Helga yeah. from Hey Arnold and shit, fucking shrine of him. That's another yeah, good they show. Could, they could they something. <laughs> another good show. Hey Arnold review coming up there. Yeah, I don't know how many seasons there is, but we do this the one the stool kid is afraid to leave the stoop. If you remember that one. Stoop kids afraid to leave the stoop. <laughs> stoop kids afraid. Good fucking show. I love that show. Okay, one of, I think one of the best scenes, because I didn't see it coming in the movie, um, was when Liz's dad was revealed as Michael Keaton's character. Bro. I've never seen the theater. I was like, I did not see that coming. Obviously, because he's white. She's, she's a black girl. So I'm, I yeah. didn't think like, oh, that's... that's you racist motherfucker. Y'all. Hey, fucking man. White man can't have, have kids with a black man. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I was just like, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like, everyone just, here has jungle fever. I'm like, and this is... <laughs> I'm with it. Hell yeah. yeah, Marvel. <laughs> Hell yeah, Marvel. You like him thick, boy. But uh, but I thought it was a dope scene because like you could just see like, and I thought it was a great job done by um, Tom Holland when he like you see like how he's like excited, he's like pumped, he's like wishing me luck, and he as soon as he sees him and he knows you just he, see him. his demeanor changes. Completely Hell yeah! Changes. Like, and the whole time he's staring at him, she's like, is, like he had the corsage or whatever. That for me, he just like hands it to her. Yeah. And even when they're taking the picture, he's still staring at him. He's just staring at like he's like this still is a threat. Do you think it's cause like he was like it was like that cause of like Spidey sense kind of his Spidey sense is probably going off. No, I think he just no nah, because he just oh. knew that that was him. Yeah. Because he saw him on the ferry, like so he he knew. Him. But um, I like that whole the whole car ride. How oh, he's still yeah. nervous and like and he's just looking at him like, like a, as soon as it. Oh my god! You just like you see him like start to like realize, and the light turns green, and then you he, you know right there he knows. Yeah. And then um, because uh, Liz was I like, was L- awesome. Liz, and how he got the hint was like Liz was like, oh, uh, uh, what's his name? Peter knows uh, uh what's his name? Spider Man. He's like, do ya? And he's kind of realized like, oh, you weren't there. Mm-hmm. Remember when Spider Man saved us? Um, Spider Man saved us when thing goes. Oh, oh, yeah, but you were gone. We don't know where you went. And he's just like, hmm. Yeah, and even because even before like all that, like he was asking, he's like, hey, "Have we met before?" Because you know, even like uh, like hearing your voice, it sounds familiar. He's like, "Oh," uh, and then like that whole scene, and then and then when like he sends Liz inside, he's like, "Oh, I just got to give him the dad talk," and then like he, he gives just, him that whole that dude that that was like a cold hearted ass motherfucking speech right dude, there. Dude, that was, was just like that was so was it was like, fucking like, bravo. Kill, you, kill everybody you love, and I he pulled a gun out, and I'm just like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" And then bravo. Then Tom Holland's face acting there. And then, like, 
he has a choice to make right there. Either fucking leave and not be Spider Man, or fucking, or and 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 go to the dance, whatever, and live a normal life, or, or fucking go fight this dude. Yeah, and he's and then that's the moment where he's like, he stands on his own. He doesn't have the the Stark suit anymore, but he still has that shit at the school, and he's just like, fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna do what I can. Yeah, and. It's good because, like, as we saw in the movie, they were stealing Stark tech, which they said it was uh, the Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Buster suit. And I remember hearing uh, Thor's Asgardian belt. Yeah, like a, like a belt or something that gave him extra strength or some shit. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I thought that was a cool hard scene. Like, you just see him, like, Michael Keaton staring in the, mir- the mirror, and he's just, like, smiling like a fucking psychopath. He's like, okay, gumdrop. Yeah. I gotta talk to him. You know, give him a little dad talk. And as soon as he just yeah. turned, you see that gun to the, the fucking the thing. He's like, you better fucking... I was like, wow. Like, doesn't he, like, pop the glove box open? Yep. <clears throat> and he, gra- and he grabs the glove. Dude, that was a beautiful scene. Probably the best scene in that whole oh, movie. Yeah. Dude, fucking the actor. Everybody's acting. Dude, even Tom Holland, Michael Keaton. So it was just, like, he looked like a scared kid. But also, like, he knew he had to do something. Fucking so, so dope. Tom, Tom, I, I feel like even more so in this movie, Tom Holland. Tom Holland shined more in this movie than he did in No Way Home. That's true. I agree. I think there's so much like, going on in No Way Home that they had to like. Yeah, and like nothing against like that movie at all. He just like this movie like, but it, it makes sense like because this was like the first this was first project. His, yeah, he had, he had to show everything, and it, and it was fucking awesome. Like even um, the scene, remember when um, the building like the building collapses on him. Yeah. And like the panic that he's going through, he's like calling for help and screaming. I'm like, yo, he sounds like it, it, okay. like anybody that would happen to anybody in that moment. And then you see him like he's like, fuck it, yo. He's like, he has to like amp himself up, and he's like, he's like, come on, come on, Peter. And he's like, come on, Spider Man, come on. And then he throws a building off him. Yeah, man. Just, like, dude. Yeah, that that's like. Tom Holland's acting. I know it's it's like you feel for the dude, like you you like you feel like that he's like panicking because he has all that weight on him. He's like freaking out. He does a beautiful yeah, job like, acting. Can't beautiful job. <clears throat> This is a, I want to, since we talked about kind of like Far From Home earlier, and you said that movie, you wasn't a fan of that movie, do you think if we watched it again, we'd probably like it more than the than uh, we did before? I just feel like it was right after Endgame, it was like, we had all this great hype to it, and this that one kind of like, I feel like it was too soon after Endgame, because it didn't belong there, like, Marvel knew what it was doing, but the, the fucking Sony wanted another film, obviously, so like. It kind of mess it up. So I'm, I'm thinking like maybe now that I'm so far removed from it, and if I watch it again, maybe I'll like it again, more. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I think it'll be hard for me to like, like remove it from. I don't know, cause like no, cause I, I, I think I'll maybe a little bit more. I'll like it a little bit more. I won't have so much hate towards it, but I think that's because they know what to expect and what what's coming. That's true. That's true. But like, if you when you compare it to. When you compare it to No Way to, to Far From Home, I mean, I mean Homecoming. Yeah. It's like it's just like it's. I don't know, man. Like it's just weird because it's like it's right. It is right after Endgame, and this dude wants to like I don't, like either you want to save the world or you don't. Like you, it's still like the whole. It was like too much of him wanting to be in love with it, with MJ. It was like it was like so forced and came out of nowhere. You know, yeah. like she had a crush on him at the end of the movie, but like whatever, out of nowhere now, he wants MJ. Yeah, that's true. I just I I feel like they didn't do that, and then um, they just they didn't all the little like things and subtleties that they put into Homecoming. They kind of left out a lot of things that like made that movie great and made oh, okay that that version of Spider Man great. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm going on a tangent right no, now. No, you're, you're no, you're fine. I, I I agree. Like uh, I know some things. I think what they that the whole uh dilemma for uh Peter in that movie was. He just wanted to be a regular kid now. Like he was like the first one. He kind of chose Spider Man stuff over being a kid. But I think now since after Tony died, he was like, he, I guess he appreciated it and he wanted to be more of a kid. But yeah, you're probably right. It's probably it's probably still like whatever in the movie because kind of uh, yeah. It just I don't know. It's just hard. Uh, and then like it was like I said, it was like the whole Tony Stark thing. Yeah, like it was that's just true. it was a little, it was a little too much. Uh, but to be fair, I think. Um, I had like so like uh, I, I think I I didn't think they could like I, I liked Homecoming so much I didn't think they could fail with uh, Far From Home. Yeah. And then it was just like kind of like a big a big letdown. But then no, that's I, what got. It, it I made, agree. Please it left like a bad taste in my mouth. I got nervous. Like I was like, damn, are they gonna? I was like, hopefully the next Spider Man is good because it didn't leave me excited for anything really. No. Like there I, were moments. There were definitely moments in the movie that I liked, but. No, I yeah, could, I completely agree that yeah. Uh. 
so we'll go back to where the scene was. He was, so that's the scene we talked about earlier when he was. So he goes inside and he has a decision to make: Is he gonna, you know, stay be a kid and turn a turn a blind eye, or is he gonna, you know, stop the vulture and ruin his reputation in school? I guess. So I thought it was I thought it was pretty dope that like even Michael Keaton had a, a back plan, which is kind of crazy. Like, how did he contact this guy? How did he know the the old fucking shocker was in the back near the buses, just waiting for him? Do you remember that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also, doesn't this actor kind of look like David Chappelle, like a C-list David Chappelle? Like, remember his face? Right. It's like his. That's a street David Chappelle. <laughs> but with this uh, this guy, I thought it was funny. He made a little joke saying like, um, like, oh, what happened to your suit? Like, I thought that was a pretty funny thing because he's like, oh, you're pretty much a suit shit now. But even though I like his his uh his his, his old school suit, the one he he wore on his own, and I thought it was pretty hey, cool. So it gives- Go ahead. I was gonna say just uh, that suit gave me like a what is it? Is it Scarlet Spider? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. With the, the red and like the yeah. It's kind of like a hoodie kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's I that's actually my favorite suit to use in uh the, the, the Spider Man PS4 game. Sorry, that was just a little. Never played it, so I, anybody was wondering. I would <laughs> but fucking wouldn't know. I didn't play it, so. Yeah, yeah, Xbox. Um, I thought it was cool that uh, I thought like they they did like even though I'm not a, I'm not say I'm not a fan of that actor, but I like the other guy, the Shocker. But I thought it was cool how like he was mm-hmm. punching the butts and it was like spinning and shit. And I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. Like that would be cool. Like yeah. if they, like I said, I want them to bring you know him as a ba- him back as a villain. That would be yeah. cool. Yeah, and so. him have like a two gauntlets on, like you know. Yeah, um, I also I did like. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I, I, I feel I like I'm say, talking I too much, the, so you go yeah. ahead. No, I, I liked how um like Ned, oh, wait, uh, thing uh Peter had to ask Ned to like track the phone. Yeah. Or whatever, and he finally got to be the guy in the chair. He's like, like you see him, like he, even before he says it, he's like looking up one thing, and then you see him roll over to the next computer, and then you see him spin. He's like, guy in the chair. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that was a nice little. I actually wrote, I wrote that too. Um, I, I thought it was pretty f- a funny, a subtle thing that Spider Man takes when he took Flash's car because he doesn't know how to fucking drive because he's a kid and he just like crashing and shit, and yeah. he's, like swerving. I thought that was pretty funny because I was like, okay, yeah. that makes sense. <clears throat> and then the subtle. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I oh, was speaking on that scene. I, I like how. Every time he talked to like someone like like one of his classmates, he had to change his voice, like a deep ass voice and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Okay, get on the car." Yeah, when, when or he, even like, on the elevator. He, but when, when we did it to uh, Arnold Duff, Glover, I forgot about that. Yeah, he's like, yeah. he goes, "I heard your voice before. It doesn't sound like that. It's more like a girl voice." He goes, "I'm not a girl." He's like, no, I'm Spider. Oh, boy. He's yeah. like, I, "I mean, man, Spider Man." <laughs> he's like, oh, "Okay, bro." Yeah, but it, was, it, was, it was fucking funny. Like, actually. Not to not to change the subject, but that, that I like that whole scene. I meant to talk about that earlier. Uh, no, I agree. How, it's like a great scene. He gives him a little bit of information. He's like, "Yeah, thanks, man." He was like, uh, "I didn't, I didn't tell you where it was." He's like, "Oh yeah, that's right." He's like, hey. <laughs> he's just too excited. Then, uh, shit. He tells him, "He's like, I right, can I tell you, he's like, you need to get better at this job." And then he was just like, and he goes to leave, and he was like, "You gonna let me out?" And he was like, "Yeah, oh, that'll that'll dissolve in three hours." He's like, "Deserve this stuff." <laughs> he's like, "You're a criminal." He was like, "No, no, no." Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, but I got ice cream in the trunk. He goes, you just, you kind of deserve it, you know? I was like, that was, that was pretty funny. But also, like, talking about the man in the chair, I thought, yeah. it was, like, this is, I'm telling you again, I was fucking zoned in, bro. When he's giving him directions where to go, there's so much nerd. He's like, oh, he, I wrote down, he says, uh, Vulture just passed the GameStop on Jackson Ave. Of all the places he could have pointed out, he could have sent, like, a fucking monument, like, he was like the GameStop on Jackson Ave, so I thought that was pretty funny because it was like a. Oh yeah, that, that made sense because nobody knows the fucking no 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 one's gonna be like oh the monument everybody like yeah, the GameStop is relevant to them. <laughs> exactly, and then the best scene of the whole movie, see the true selflessness of a hero, man. Icarus flew into the sun for his guilt. I wrote it down. Widow sacrificed herself. Ned is a hero for saying he was watching porn, bro, in front of his principal or teacher, whatever she was. Oh hell yeah. He like he could have yeah. said anything. Boy said he's like watching porn, bro. The real one right there. He's like I'm watching porn. He's like it caught me. <laughs> he's like you got me. Do it, you must. And I was like what a hero. <laughs> but I, but the movie, uh, I thought the hijack scene was pretty dope. I, I like how he was kept trying to shoot Webbers, and like they weren't going anywhere, so he had not really the like he, he couldn't really rely on those, which is another reason why he didn't use webs, I guess. But I thought that was a pretty cool scene. Not gonna lie, um, didn't like. I it. always thought that scene was like too dark. Like, oh, like, oh, how it was, like, yeah, how it was filmed. Yeah, like I couldn't really see much, and I, I just, I don't know why it bothered me watching it that I wanted him to have his like real Spider Man suit. I'm like, this motherfucker's fighting his final fight in and, fucking PJs. I was just like, oh, <laughs> I don't know, it bothered me a little bit. And old gym outfit. I, just, I 
think watching it, I remember the first time I watched it, I just, I wasn't un, like dissatisfied with that final fight, but I was like, it, every other fight scene and like every other fight scene was pretty fucking dope. Uh, in the movie, I just feel like they could have did a little bit more. Yeah. It made sense, like what was happening. But what about uh? It was different, I guess. But what about like um at the end when like he's trying to take that thing that's about to explode and it blows up? I'm like, he's just a human. He would die, wouldn't it? Like that big ass explosion. Yeah. So that I had a problem with that at the no. end. I, I also had another problem. Okay. Um, when he's on the plane and he's fighting the vo- the vulture, he goes through that. Yeah. You know when he goes through that turbine and he like webs it up. The, the the turbine on the fucking plane. Yeah. And then he's like hanging on and the turbine's still stuck to his web so it's like kinda of dragging him down. So he kicks it off. He kicks it over the city. Like he's kicking it he kicked it to fall hundred feet in the yeah. air and just I'm like, bro, that's a city, bro. You definitely killed someone. Yeah, good good point. Yeah. He's he's six he doesn't know better. <laughs> he doesn't know better. Um Aunt, Aunt May, go to jail. Go to jail, Aunt May. You're going to hell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's where she. That's where her soul went after she got fucking <laughs> whacked by that glider. <laughs> <laughs> she got fucking level, bro. Her back was so fucked up. I'm like, I didn't know. Like, like, oh, she got whacked. And I was like, alright, so she's fucking everything's broken. And she stands up and walks. I'm, I'm like, like, god damn it! It's a fucking Captain Carter <laughs> over here. <laughs> this bitch got mac, dude. She just said, Can "You just see her fucking fly off of her." She's like, her that fucking whips." And- First thing she said, this is not your fault. Oh, Peter, it's your fault, bro. It's 100% your it's fault. your fault. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> all right, it's, Pete. It's, it's his fault for listening to this fucking dumbass woman who's just like, yes, fucking let all these fucking villains into that. Oh, yeah. So they died fighting Spider-Man, the fucking hero of this movie. Yeah. Yeah, let him into the fucking home. Fucking it's range free. Lock, lock the fuck out. Yeah. Lock a goddamn wizard in another dimension. <laughs> He's like, it was all right for these fucking three people. God, fucking yeah. Bitch got destroyed by a bunch of yeah. <laughs> she got spinal damage um, so like, I just remember watching the theater I'm just like there's no way she stands up she gets up and I was just like no I'm just like I was like, she okay. get bit by a spider too it's like oh my god it's spider woman <laughs> not to the made her spider woman I'll be highly upset um, but yeah I guess the family moves to Oregon um, when uh, what's his boy goes to jail and that's it of the movie do you want to talk about the mid credit scene and the end credit or now? Yeah, there, I feel like there's a scene I want to talk about. Did we talk about the fairy scene? I just really like. Oh scene. no! I was, I was actually, I was actually I, rewatching that scene on YouTube before we went on the podcast. I, I really like that scene. One thing I don't. It's another fucking. Wait, go ahead. One thing I don't like is, <clears throat> I feel like each movie had it. It's that scene where they're just like, fucking, you know. Uh, I know uh, Toby had it when he's stopping the train. I think. Uh, yeah. What's his face? Andrew Garfield had a moment like that. I don't remember when his moment was, <clears throat> but that was Tom, uh, Tom Holland's moment, like trying to hold it together. And I was just like, okay. I feel like it was kind of like a I, repeated thing. Yeah, I feel you, but I, I definitely liked it. I liked how uh, I liked that whole scene of him just like stopping the people, like him, uh, like I said, the the web grenade. Yeah, I did like the web and grenade. And then like I even when like, the bolt starts to, like fall, fall apart. Yeah, I even like when oh, um what were gonna say? when um Michael Keaton was he had his he had his uh vulture suit in that van. And he just like he jumped in the back of the van and he just tore up the back of the van with his wings and shit. I was like that was pretty dope. Yeah. So I can, watch, watch that scene. Why did he just remember that guy who's standing at the van? Why did he bash his head <laughs> into the fucking? I have no who idea. Who was that guy? I have no I idea. Like just, I feel like he was just a bystander. He wasn't an FBI agent because they weren't out there yet. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't just fucking some random ass dude and like. I don't think like. It's not like he stashed it in someone else's van. That was his van. So yeah. He was just there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just let him fucking pass. Um, but I did like uh, I liked how um, once the boat started to fall apart, it like uh, how like he uses technology again to look out of strong points and like the whole like what I think like did that was like where the web swinging was cool where like he was like swinging through and just fucking webbing yeah. everything up. Yeah. And uh, that was a good moment. Yeah. Yeah. Even that and um. What was it saying? Damn it, I, I, I dropped it. But yeah, I, I think that was a good scene too. I, uh, I did like I just didn't like how it looked very uh like those other ones. But um Yeah. I also have a nitpick about uh, Go oh go ahead. Um this the they Mar- it's just Marvel's overuse of CGI. Yeah, because they, you could tell like there are so many points in the movie where his he was just CGI. Like he, even like on the boat scene you could see 
on the ferry. Like you could see that it was like a CGI suit. It didn't look. She doesn't look good. And even like, not to be off subject, but even like the, remember like the, the final swing in uh, No Way Home. Like that's that suit looked like it was like a video game. I don't know. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't look. It look good. It was like they could do like the actual suit looks really fucking good. Like everything about it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't, know, I don't know why they overuse the CGI. I don't know. I think they they, they just like uh, doing this. I guess they don't want to build the suit. Maybe it gets damaged. I don't know, but like, I guess the CGI you can make it like shimmer how you want it to shimmer and stuff like that. But like, it just looks so fucking cheesy. Like, I want him in like a legit. Yeah, I want him in a legit suit. Make these motherfuckers yeah. work out and wear a suit, bro. Yeah, and like do CGI for like certain scenes, but don't don't just do it when he's just standing there. You know. Like, exactly. Oh. Another thing I like just just a little a little nod and not nod but a little a little detail like uh when he was done fighting all those guys in the ferry how like the way he popped out his like the web cartridge and then just like refilled it yeah uh, I thought that was a nice little little touch yeah like, so, like little things like that that they did like throughout the whole movie was just cool yeah you're right they did they did uh, get away from that in the second one it was just more him being in love with MJ which he didn't really give a shit about MJ before that he was in love with Liz yeah it was like so forced yeah I and mean, you really think about it they they They've really only been dating for like a week. Yeah. And they were like barely friends before that. They're not really in love. Like, I don't know. Yeah. That's true. Whatever. <laughs> Dated for a week and then he's like, I'm Spider Man. He's like, oh shit. So now everyone knows. Yeah. But whatever. That's a little. That's a whole other thing. What are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking. But uh, what other. You got any other nitpicks? Um, anything else you want to talk about? I, I was going to ask you a question about the mid credit, but I don't want to move on until you're ready. That was it. Uh, I'll probably it, it's me, so I'll probably like fucking randomly. I'll be like, oh, do you remember that part in the beginning of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> no, but now I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. All right. So the mid credit scene is when Vulture was talking to the Scorpion, and he kind of covers for Spider Man. Do you think he's doing that to like so he gets the revenge? Because he said we heard that you you knew what his identity was. He's like, oh, if I knew it, he would already be dead. So do you think it's like him trying to cover for him, or is it more like I don't know? Maybe because he ch- kind of saved him. Cause he, he tried to help him with his back. I feel like, I feel like it's because like I I took it as like because he saved him because uh he. That's okay. That's what yeah. I mean. Like because he was he wasn't like a completely evil guy. Like he had like real motivations. That's why I, I liked him. Yeah, me too. So like I, I feel like he he did save his life, and he also like knew that Spider Man wasn't like a bad kid. I don't think he really would have. I don't think he would if like if he had the chance, like he had a gun to his head. I don't think he would have been able to pull the trigger. I don't think he would have straight up just killed a kid. He could have did it if he had to, but yeah, like in the moment of like a battle. But I don't. And then, then Spider Man saved him, and he also knew that like his daughter liked him, and he saved his daughter and everybody on the on the elevator. Yep. So I feel like it was like that. Kind of like over, kind of even now, kind of thing. Yeah. I wonder what he's thinking about now. Well, actually, they they erased it all, so everyone doesn't know who he is anymore. I was like, damn, he's probably in jail. Like, man, I should have said something. Now everyone knows. True. But You're right. Yeah, um, yeah, everybody forgot. And I think they have the biggest. This movie had the biggest troll end credit when it's Captain America talking about just sitting there with patience and shit. He's like, you know, patience. Sometimes you wait for so long and, you know, see all this bullshit, whatever he says. And he's like, and you just realize it wasn't worth it and you regret doing it. And I was like, yeah, you're a fucking troll, Marvel. He's like, I respect that. Yeah, it was it was funny, but it was also fucking pissed me off, especially because, like, I, I was with Eric and I was like, nah, dude, we got to say, he's like, bro, just Google it, what it is. It's probably going to be stupid. And I was like, yeah. nah, bro, it's going to set up the next movie. And we waited, and I just remember like standing like by the door, just waiting for it to pop up, and then like it did. And I was just like, as soon as it did, I looked at him and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, you sound. Even though I thought it was not funny, I thought it was a nice little troll. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, so now let's get into the grading, and we could uh, cap this podcast off. So where is the? Oh, I have the book somewhere. Shit. Anyways, what would you grade it? Okay. Go first. I'm, I'm having a hard time. I, I, I'm I'm sitting at a A minus A. I thought it was really good. It had some nitpick things, but it's a movie. It's gonna have some problems. I feel like it was a great first Spider Man. I probably watched that movie like four or five times, and it's still really good. But I feel like an A A minus is kind of fucking high. All right, because I was gonna, and I think I think I'll give it a B plus. Okay, I'll, I'll give it A minus. I think a B plus, because yeah, I, I was gonna go B, a B or B plus. But I'm just, like, I'm, damn, what did I give other stuff? I feel like I'm trying to compare. It to Honestly, I I, I, I don't know where my thing went. I had, 
Oh, we went mobile. Nope. Uh, you We're going mobile. <laughs> We're going mobile. <laughs> Crashing the plane. Um, freaking. I don't Those know. Are <laughs> you gave uh, the last two movies like a, a C plus, B minus, I think. Yeah, because what did we do last? Oh, I think yeah. I probably gave. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll give this movie. I just yeah. I'll give it a a B plus plus. This doesn't quite make that A, but uh, I get like you. small nitpicky things, but I'll give it a that's minus. That's a high ass rating. For, yeah, I'll give. Oh, it, I'll, yeah. I'll give it. No, I'll, I'll give it a B plus. I was thinking originally thinking B plus. Mm. I feel like I was be too mean, but I guess I'll meet you at the B plus. Yeah, I mean, you, you 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 swayed me. You almost swayed me there for a second. So I was about to be like, when I, I do I a, a complete, <laughs> when I do a complete switch. <laughs> That's all. I'll give it an A minus minus. <laughs> oh, pretty much a B I know, plus. I'll stick with my B plus. It's pretty much a B plus, but it's still an A minus minus. But it's pretty much a B plus. Okay, it's like it's a three you know, minuses, it's bro. Like a, it's like an honorary A. <laughs> but uh, yep. That's the podcast. Um, next week we will be doing Suicide Squad, right? Both movies, comparing them. Is that still a go? Or yeah, yeah, it is. I just some I got a man to prepare to rewatch the first one because shit, that movie's hard to watch. Yeah, um, so I'll do it. I'm gonna work for our, for our gonna... viewers, for our new subscribers. Yes, we definitely appreciate all the follows. Thank you, thank you. Please, if you like to like it, tell people about it. If other people like nerdy stuff. If you guys want to be in the conversation, if you want to chime in, please, I'll do my best looking at it, especially next time. I, yeah. We want to do 9.30 Eastern time, again, most likely for next Sunday. I could put up an alarm if we need to. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put it up on the Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Yes, definitely follow on the Twitter. It is up now. The YouTube should be up by next podcast, definitely. And, yeah, that was Sweet. Daily Bugle. Elijah, I know you're, you're probably... We're going to be so fucking famous. So famous. Just kidding. I'm coming in Gucci down everything. Just kidding. I'm going to act like I don't know anyone. Hold on, this fucking, fucking chinchilla skin coat. It's going to be like, uh. Everyone's going to be like, damn, Justin changed after me made that podcast. I'm like, you're damn right I changed. Now don't talk to me. <laughs> just fucking kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to have like a fucking big ass clock, like <laughs> chain, like flavor flavor, fucking with some grills. <laughs> Oh god, don't please don't do that. <laughs> that would be fucking devastating. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this anymore. But uh yeah, man, definitely I know you said you'll probably check it out later. Tell me what you think about the opening. I can change it if you don't like it. But yep, this is Daily Bugle. Uh still don't have a sign out yet. We're we're working on that. We're working on a next podcast we'll have yeah. an intro and a sign out. Like this is yeah, we're working out the hey, kids in this. We're gonna start we're gonna start timing it like Goodbye, and then we just go like this, put a hand over the camera. Shit. <laughs> and no, you're gonna put your no, no. You're gonna put your forehead up to the camera. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bring it in. And give it a. Kiss. <laughs> That's how we're gonna sign Hey, up don't do that, bro. That, that 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 freak show girl. Oh, she's gonna want to see your tongue, bro. She's like, I see it, bro. I know. It's in. <laughs> she's gonna pause and try and zoom in. Like, <laughs> she's she's the one. She's doing fucking calculations and shit. Like that tongue looks about 13 centimeters this way. If I'm comparing it to no meals, some crazy shit. Oh my god! She's every single one of our new subscribers. <laughs> just, just <on> <laughs> any fucking any chance she can get to see that. <laughs> yeah, all our view, our new, all five of our new followers are like, let me see that tongue. I'm like, wait a minute, this is too, this is too familiar, bro. This is not good. <laughs> all right, man. Well, this is a great podcast, man. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I'll text you, yeah. my brother. All right, cool. All Later, right, everyone. People signing out. Deuces. Signing out. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs>